I was born here and uh, I was brought up here in the heart of the South Yorkshire mining communities. And every night, my dad, he'd, he'd come home from work, black as the ace of spades, I'll never forget. And, and I don't know why, because he worked in a bank. <laughs> And I, I went to school, and actually I was quite insecure as a, as a child. It, it, uh, I went to an apprehensive school for quite a long time. <laughs> I ended up in a little village just outside Doncaster, quaint, bijou, well-appointed sort of place. Uh, I've mentioned Edlington uh, before, <laughs> to, uh, which has given it away, isn't it, really? I don't know if you know that Edlington was bombed continuously during the war for four years. I think they did eight quids worth of damage. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is what it stands at the foot of South Yorkshire's highest mountain, Kilimanjaro. <laughs> but I, um, <laughs> I, I hated going to that school. I went to Edlington Comprehensive School, and you know, I arrived there without one qualification to my name, and I left with exactly the same amount. <laughs> I just did not like it at all. I went to school about the same time as Kevin Keegan, about 10 to 9. So, you know, somewhere <laughs> like, give or take. And I just didn't like school. The only day I liked, actually, out of the whole year was school sports day. Because I haven't always been a little fat lad, you know. I was, I was an athlete in school. Well, I took drugs to start, didn't it? <laughs> in fact, we were the only school in Doncaster to have bear baiting as one of the events. <laughs> was, give you an idea. Well, my favourite event, and I'm sure this is going to fetch warm memories back to a lot of people in here, my favourite event was the mixed wheelbarrow race. I, I, I so sure he remembers it. I think it was that big, firm, bare thigh under each arm on the starting line there. With all the, all right. 100 yards, I think. The quickest anybody ever did it was two and a half hours. Uh, and that was a headmaster and the cookery teacher as well, if, if, if I remember. And he was smashing bloke, our cookery teacher and all. I, I, I bet he's dead now. You know, I don't often tell people this, but I, I was expelled. And it's not easy to get expelled from a comprehensive school. It was a stupid incident, really. We were in the drama class, right, doing uh, Shakespeare, I think his name was. And I totally misinterpreted the stage direction, enter Ophelia from behind. And, and that was it. Get out, woman. But I've often found this, you know. It's nice to have a lot of Shakespeare fans in the audience, isn't it? Like an intellectual crowd of varying age. So, look, I'm not saying there's anybody over the hill, but there's one or two with a nice view. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> but I've found, travelling around the country and still living up in, in, in the north of England, I find there's a very strange attitude towards us Yorkshire people, you know, when you get to London. Basically, they think we're thick. <laughs> and it's mostly those counties that go around the outskirts of London, around the M25, Surrey and, and Berkshire and Cheshire and all that. <laughs> they think, they think that because we're born in the North, they think we're of a lesser intelligence and void of culture and, and just a bunch of absolute palestines. And it's, it's not true, is it? <laughs> You're not sure, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody over there just said Cheshire's in Scotland, what's he on about? <laughs> Partying from Mensa. Like. But I think the only time I've ever really been taken advantage of in London, I, I was there earlier this year, filming for three months, because I'd got a new camcorder, you know, and you want to put, look at that, Arc de Triumph, all that. And I'm stuck in this, this little flat without a telly, and I've got to have a telly. And I went down to Curry's in Camden to pick one out. Now, I'm very patriotic, me. If it's not British, I, I just, I won't buy it. And I picked one out off the shelf. And he's putting it in the box, this kid in front of me. And I said, just wait a minute. It, it, it's British, that, isn't it? He said, yeah, mate, it's British. Because <laughs> there's a lot of Welsh in London. I said, <laughs> <laughs> I said, are you sure that's British? He said, yeah, get it, ball. And I just happened to see this written on the back of the box, built-in antenna. Now. <laughs> I'm not stupid, you know. 